the long-awaited answer. Where humans and Neanderthals interbred. It's long been known, if a bit awkward, that early Homo sapiens and Neanderthals interbred. While past research has focused on when these encounters occurred, scientists have now pinpointed where they most likely took place. A recent study examined the geographical overlap between Homo sapiens and Neanderthals during the late Pleistocene, focusing on Southwest Asia and Southeast Europe. The findings highlight a specific hotspot for these interactions, the Zagros Mountains, a rugged range that spans present-day Iran, northern Iraq, and southeastern Turkey. This region would have offered an ideal meeting ground. Its diverse ecosystems and varied terrain could support large, stable human populations. It also served as a migratory corridor during Pleistocene climate shifts, linking the cooler Palearctic region to the warmer Afrotropical zone, creating ample opportunity for the two human species to encounter one another. The Zagros Mountains not only make ecological sense, but are also supported by archaeological and genetic evidence. Numerous prehistoric sites in the region contain remains of both Neanderthals and early Homo sapiens, reinforcing the idea that this was a key contact zone. The legacy of these ancient interspecies encounters lives on. Since the sequencing of the Neanderthal genome in 2010, researchers have found that between 1% and 4% of the DNA in non-African modern humans comes from Neanderthals. These genes influence traits ranging from facial structure and pain sensitivity to susceptibility to conditions like depression and COVID-19. So while the rendezvous happened tens of thousands of years ago, its impact is still very much a part of who we are today.